What does wearing the proper apparel achieve? In some ways, I think it gives you a bit of power because it gives you inner strength. Mm. So then if you know that you feel your best mm. inside, then you're going to portray mm. your best mm. to the outside world. Hi, my name's Justine and I'm a professional stylist. My clients are based in London, Middlesex and Surrey. Um, the main point for me for being a stylist is to um, instill confidence in people, just to get the best out of themselves. Um, so I'm, in the videos that I'm going to do, I'm going to give you some styling tips, some grooming tips, um, but then also talk a little bit more about the services that I offer, which range from a wardrobe review and a quick fix body shape analysis, colour analysis, personal shopping, um, which can be either for a special occasion or a new job, or if you've got a hot date, or if you just literally want to change your whole wardrobe, then we can work together to achieve that. Um, in the next few videos, I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail about what each service entails. So um, keep an eye out for those. Hello everybody, it's Amadeus and today I'm with Justine and we're at her beautiful shop, the Sartorial, what do you want to say in the name? Sartorial Boutique and Gifts. Sartorial Boutique and Gifts and you are a personal fashion stylist. I am indeed. And how did that journey kind of come about for you? Um, mainly I've always had a passion for fashion, literally mm -hmm. all my life, even mm -hmm. as a child I wouldn't let my mum dress me. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, I want to wear this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to wear that. Um, I studied fashion at college. Um, and then my biggest dream was to have a boutique. Mm. And then here I am. But mm. I am a tr I'm a trained personal fashion stylist. So I, I have, I've, I've kind of got qualifications and everything. So, so let's take that, let's, let's take, sorry, let's take a couple steps back. So at the very beginning, what were some things that you had to do to kind of put your foot out there, get, the, get yourself out the door. What was, what was um, the beginning like for you? The beginning really was being a qualified personal fashion stylist. Okay. So um, I learned the trade, but then while you're doing that, you kind of have to do a lot of shoots mm. which aren't paid, mm. um, or you have to have a lot of clients. So you use your friends and your family um, their friends and family, just to build up mm. your, your portfolio and get a bit of experience. Mm. So it's, it's just getting your name out there, mm. just so people can trust you, because it's a very personal job. Understood, yeah. Because a, a lot of people feel quite vulnerable. Mm. Like, oh, will you style me? So I know you said photo shoots. What were some of the things that you had to do for free? You said photo shoots and... Well, like one-to-one -one styling. One-to-one -one styling. So what does that involve? Um, depends what the client wants, but my most popular service is a wardrobe review. Okay. So you probably know that most women have a wardrobe which is full mm. of clothes. They might mm -hmm. have three wardrobes mm. full of clothes and they will still say, I don't, I don't have, have anything enough. to wear. Yeah. Well, they do, mm. but they just don't know how to put things together mm. or they've mm. got bored with how mm. they put things mm. together. So then I will come along, have a little rummage through their, mm. their wardrobe, and say, well, have you tried this with this? Why don't you put that necklace with this? Or change mm. the shoes, mm. or put a different top with those trousers? Mm. And then before you know it, you've got 10 other outfits that you didn't know you had. So let's take it back to shopping then. Mm. What do you think are the key things to look out for when you're at the mall shopping? Well, <laughs> what, what's some of the things that you, should, you should look into? Well, without going too in depth, yeah. because it really does depend mm. on, and this is for men and women, yeah. so it depends on your height, your body okay. proportions, okay. Um, your skin tone, uh -huh. your hair color, your eyes, like literally everything about you, mm what colors you put on your body, you can actually create an illusion by putting different colors in different mm. places on your body. So it's, it's amazing what you can do if you know how to do it, but a lot of people don't really know how to do it. So you said illusions. Mm. 
what are those type of illusions that you're talking about? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm into it, I'm, I'm interested, yeah. Well, for instance, the, the classic illusion that everybody knows about, if you're a bit bigger, you wear black. Now, mm. I'm a bit bigger, I'm wearing black, mm. but I don't always wear black. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's important to wear colour, mm -hmm. but it's just knowing where to put the colour mm -hmm. and where to put stripes, where to put fabrics, mm. like patterns, if you put patterns in the wrong place, it can accentuate mm. an area that you might want to look smaller. Mm, mm. So it, it really depends. What about using colour to give out a certain image? So let's just say, all right, for, for me personally, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in business, right? Let's just say I'm entering a sales pitch. I want to close a client. Yeah. What type of, how would you dress me if I'm trying to close a client and I want to use kind of fashion as a tool. How would you dress me? Personally? See, I would say then your accessories would be your tool. See, at the moment, I love the colour of your jumper, but if you're going to be going to closing a deal, everyone's just going to be focused on your jumper because it's quite bright. <laughs> I actually wore this to a client meeting before, but and, yeah, I didn't close that I'm deal. I'm not saying, <laughs> I think you look really nice. Yes. I'm giving you 10 out of 10. Oh, fantastic, thank you. But if you want to look sharp but have a little edge to mm, you, I would say your pocket square or a tie pin mm. or the tie, maybe you'd have like a pop of colour in a waistcoat, mm. something. Accessories. Accessories. Mm. All right, so what about a woman going on a first date? What are some things that she should look into? Ooh, okay. Um, I think the biggest rule is that we all know, obviously you want to look your best, mm but you don't want to have all the goods on show. So you kind of want to have either a little bit of cleavage mm. or a little bit of leg mm. or a little bit of waist. Yeah, but not you don't have it all much. going on. You're not showing too much. Yeah, all so right. you kind of, you, you, it's showing mm. the best of yourself, mm. but in, in a way that you're not giving it all away. So how about some practical things? Because what, yeah, what are some practical things that a woman should take into consideration? Like what? Don't wear best? silly shoes. Don't wear silly shoes. <laughs> We all like to wear high heels, but if you can't walk in those high heels, you're not going to look sexy. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, that's quite annoying. Yeah, yeah. yeah like on. as a man, mm. when you look at a woman and you look at she can't walk in those yeah. shoes, is that sexy? Uh, or if we're going on a date and if I was walking and we can't go anywhere. Because, yeah, <laughs> all right. my so, feet hurt. Yeah. So where would you say? So what would what would you say? Let's because no, a, a typical first date, not my first date, but a typical first date is a dinner and a dinner. Or, Dinner in a movie, something like that. Okay. So what, what would you advise a woman to wear for a dinner in a movie? Yeah, see, a dinner in a movie, a dinner could be quite formal. Are you thinking mm. formal or are you thinking just a quick bite to eat? A guy just says dinner in a movie. He doesn't okay. tell you where. Okay. Well, if it's just dinner in a movie, maybe just jeans. Jeans? Skinny jeans. Mm. Little heel. Mm. Mm. Not like a giant heel. Mm. Like a three inch, two mm. and a half inch heel, maybe. Mm. Um, it's always nice to have mm. painted toenails. Mm. It's the little touches. <laughs> the little touches. So yeah. I was so obviously, you know, once you have your client, you can go into detail. But for the most part, I get the gist of be comfortable. Yes, you, know, you need to be comfortable. You know, be comfortable and, and don't give away too much. No. Don't give away too much. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Yeah. I see you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then okay, so now can you talk to me about some of your, your previous clients or someone that you worked out worked with that was that just really stood out as a great project for you? Um, I'd probably say, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking, I think the most rewarding clients are the ones that come to me and they feel self-conscious about mm. themselves. Mm. I mean, everyone is self-conscious, mm. I'm self-conscious, mm. but my job as a personal stylist is for you to book an hour or two mm. or however mm. many hours you want to mm. spend, whatever your goal is. Um, and you feel, like, honestly, like you feel amazing afterwards. Mm. And you come away and you think, you know, I feel like, I feel like me. Mm. Not hiding behind anything, you're just mm. you. But you look amazing. Because if you look good, people will think, oh, you look nice today. Who yeah, doesn't like a compliment? Mm. If someone says you look nice today, you're going to be like, oh, mm, thanks. Mm, 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 yeah. I feel good now. So your job is to instill confidence. Yes. Instill confidence. Very, very much so, yeah. I'd say that's my biggest goal. Mm. It's not, obviously the fashion is the main thing, mm. but I really want to give people confidence mm. and just, just to be them. That's mm. all really. 
So why do you, so why should a person, just general question here, now, why do I need a personal stylist? I, I can dress myself, I can, do, I can do it myself, why do I need a personal stylist? Yeah, a lot of people do ask me that because mm -hmm. people see it as a, as a luxury, which mm -hmm. I suppose it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if, if you don't need it, you don't need it. But mm -hmm. I'd say the majority of my clients are people do, that have, um, maybe they've got a new job, Mm. and they don't know how to dress for that new mm -hmm. job. They, maybe they've had a child, mm. maybe their body shape's changed, mm -hmm. um, or people that have just got stuck in a rut. When mm. you get older, your body shape changes, mm. your skin tone changes, your hair colour changes, mm. everything about you changes as you get older. Mm. So you can't be wearing what you were wearing in your 20s, in mm. your 40s, 50s and mm. 60s. But that doesn't mean to, mean to say that you have to dress old. Like, you just need to find your own style. Question, are there any celebrities that you kind of admire their style? I think Jane Fonda looks amazing. Fonda. Like, how old is Jane Fonda? I have no idea, but there's going to be a picture flashing. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't know who she is. Because <laughs> I always look at the, uh, the celebrities mm. uh, when they go on the red carpet, mm. and I quite often pick mm. her out. Because I like to pick people of different ages, so I'll tend to do the men, mm. then I'll do the women. And I always pick different sizes, different ages, mm. different ethnicities, mm. just to prove you know, that everybody can look amazing. Mm. It's not just a Victoria's Secret mm. model that looks amazing. Mm. Everybody looks amazing. So if you dress right. So let's just, <laughs> let's just take the situation right here. So now I'm looking at you know, several personal styles. I have like seven. And you're one of those people. What separates you <laughs> from the rest of those six? Gosh, um, I'd like to think that I'm quite a warm person and I'd never say, oh gosh, you look awful in that. Mm -hmm. I would suggest something different, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't make somebody wear something they didn't want to wear. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be forceful. Mm -hmm. I'd be forceful in sort of a nice way. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> And I know how to put colours together. Okay. Because I like to clash colours. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people go safe. I like to put pops of colour mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. And then we go, ooh, wow, that mm -hmm. looks amazing. So if you wear a very plain outfit mm -hmm. and then you go for some really out mm -hmm. there shoes mm -hmm. or a handbag that's mm -hmm. just really eye catching, I like to push the boundaries a little bit. And what type of situation would that be with someone who wear like a plain outfit and pop? Maybe to a wedding. Maybe to a wedding. Yeah. All right, so... Day at the races. Day, day at the races? Yeah, horse racing. Oh, horse horse racing is big in England. Like at the moment, we've got Epsom, we've got Ascot coming up. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so tell me about that. You, you said but then it's from... all about the hat. Oh, yeah, I know, like, the, yeah. I, I think I saw some photos about that. But you said you're from... Buckinghamshire. And so how was that? How did you actually get into style and fashion, like the, or the complete origins? Did you know from the, when you were a young person that you wanted to do this or did yeah. it kind of fall on top of you? Like, how did that, how did that um Always, interest? always been interested in fashion, even mm. as a small child. Okay. okay. Never used to let my mum dress me. Okay. I'd have to pick out all of my outfits myself. So let's just talk about, all right, someone that's really not into fashion and not really into just dressing well, they kind of, you know, the modern day male engineer, you know, they're just, they're just, they're not really into style of fashion. Yeah. What do you say to people who don't see, because I see clothes and apparel as a tool, right? I do, yeah. I'm oh, sorry about that. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> That's another joke. <laughs> so just I moved it half an inch. Yeah, she's, I, she's put that back. <laughs> I see clothes and apparel as, as a tool. What do you say to, what does, the proper apparel achieve? What does wearing the proper apparel achieve? In some ways, I think it gives you a bit of power because it gives you inner strength. Mm. So then if you know that you feel your best mm. inside, then you're going to portray mm. your best mm. to the outside world. Mm. So it, mm. it gives you an edge, I think. Mm. Because people will always... I'm not saying that you should become like a walking mannequin. 
like it's all about your clothes, mm. but I'm mm. just saying that I think it gives you confidence. Mm. I don't know anyone, even the clients that have literally, oh, I'm really not interested in fashion, mm. but I know that I need to sort my wardrobe out. Mm. And they just feel amazing afterwards. And I haven't been shopping with them. I've literally just rearranged what they've got in their wardrobe mm. already. So it's their style. Mm -hmm. I haven't really done anything. Mm. I haven't changed their clothes. Mm. I've just put different things together mm. and it's made them feel mm better about themselves because mm. it just gives them a bit more oh I didn't know I could wear that oh that mm. looks really good so from hearing what you just said just to kind of wrap up here last couple of questions it seems like what you provide for people is one mainly primarily um, confidence yeah you know giving people that insurance that you know they are beautiful they are unique they are handsome and that you're you're really just there to just just kind of tweak a little bit of things and reassure yeah. them that they are the yeah. new person that they are. Exactly. And speaking a little bit with you off camera, I can tell that you've had quite a, a background and a lot of experience getting to your position that you are right now. And I want to talk to you about something that I've kind of picked up on about you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so I don't know if you've noticed, but like just a couple minutes ago, I kind of just knocked this thing. <laughs> right. Don't touch and, it. And she went berserk. <laughs> <laughs> but Zerk's yeah. a bit strong. No, yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm joking. She, <laughs> she, but um, so I picked up on something about you that I feel a lot of creatives have, and it's it's being particular. Mm. A lot of people will see it as a negative trait. Oh no, she she just she's so needy. She's so controlling. But being particular is is a great asset in terms of paying attention to yeah. details. So how do you feel like that trait, you know, has helped you, you know, in your field? Um, particularly on photo shoots, um, if somebody, if I look at the photo mm. and I think, oh, there's a bit of hair out of place yeah. there, or the makeup's not quite right, mm. obviously that's not real life, mm. so you don't need to be that anal in real life, mm. but just be conscious that have I got a hole in my shirt, have I mm. got a hole in my stockings, mm. do my shoes look okay, mm. it's just sort of, just little bits. Mm. People do notice these things, and you might think, mm. "Oh, it doesn't matter. Mm. Oh, it's just a small stain there." Mm. Well, it it kind of does because you're you're like a walking advert for yourself. Mm. People are very judgmental. Mm. I'm not saying that's right because mm. it isn't right to judge people, but mm. I think you should just take pride in your mm. appearance and just look your best. Mm. That's all I'm saying. So <laughs> you instill confidence. Yeah. Pay attention to the details. Yeah. So last question. Um, I haven't painted my nails though, so I'm trying to hide those. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> and then, so last See, question. I'm a real person as well. <laughs> we are real people, and you provide a real service because, yeah. like you said, we all have insecurities, yeah. and we do need to be instilled with confidence every now and again. And um, just to give you a little background story, I mean, I wasn't always into fashion. And when I. You were or you weren't? I was not. I used to wear sweats all the time. Okay. And then I was, sweats can be cool, they were cool. But they were just sweats. My girlfriend's really mad at me. But I actually, I got into dressing well once. I was actually in a flunk in my life. It was actually a low life. For, it was like a low time for me. Yeah. And I stumbled upon this video. I don't know if you know this this channel, Real Man Real Style. He was like, mm. he was like, you know, dress well, and then you start feeling confident. I did, and that really transformed me. It got me through the day. So okay. I do feel like your service is very valuable. So it does work. It absolutely works. Yeah.